Hi guys, have you subscribed to this Donna Dewberry channel? Well, I'm thrilled to come on and share with you lots of lessons, but to do that, I need you to subscribe and go to notifications and ring the bell so that you're notified when I'm coming on. I have lots of special free streaming lessons that are great for you to come on live with me. So please go do that and stay tuned for the lesson. guys, good morning. It's Relax and Paint, and I'm excited to start this morning with you um, creating just a really easy, simple, kind of watercolory looking, looking, not watercolor, but kind of that look, painting. And I'm on some of my multimedia paper again. It's called green, uh, Grayscale. And so what I want to do is just show you how it pops on this gray um, gray background and how simple it is to create something that looks really pretty and i'm ready to get started i hope you are if you get a chance please join me on the one stroke advantage where i'm teaching how to draw and then paint your designs and lots more so weekly i have a class on there um, that we can paint together on friday afternoons or evenings early evenings so um, i start next week excited for you to try with me okay so we're going to go to the overhead camera so i have some bright colors i have some aqua and some pink melon i have some sap green and some daffodil yellow a little bit of neon purple and some cobalt and some white and floaty medium all right so we're going to i'm going to get some paper towels out here and have those ready for us. And we are going to start with some good brushes here. All right, so I'm gonna use my 12 flat, wet it in water. And if you aren't sure how to do any of these strokes, please go to our Friday classes, which are called plastic practice strokes. And it will show you how to load and how to paint strokes with different brushes all right that's a 12 flat all right so one of the things let me get my chalk here one of the things is i'm just going to do the top of a vase and we're not going to show the whole vase can you see that shape a little bit all right so i'm going to before i do that let's get another um let's get a flat brush here all right this is a 16 flat I wet it. Now I'm going to pick up medium. Floating medium is the fluff that's inside paint with no color, no pigment. So then I side load it some worker white. All right. So I'm just going to come here and we're going to just put the background of the vase in so we know where the leaves and the stems go. All right. So back here. All right, that's the back of it. And then we're going to come right down here. My little finger, see my little fingers pulling us? Okay, we're going to come right here and slide down. All right, slide down. Okay, come across a little bit. Okay, so we're going to kind of get that shape in there. All right, when this dries, it'll look really good. It won't show the, those shaded part there, okay? So first thing I want to do is I'm going to come right here to the greens, a little bit of medium, and I'm just going to come through here and just do some stems up on this edge of the brush, okay? So we're going to come right here. You want it inside the glass. So what's going to happen is I'm going to restroke this white, not that white back there because that's supposed to be behind. Okay. All right. 
a little bit. We're going to have all these stems. And see that? Just a few. We just want to get that illusion. I'm going to go back a little bit, back and forth, and put some green in there. I can also pick up some more sap with some medium. And I can wiggle up. And then come from that point and push down, push down, and come down. I want to show you. I'm going to start right on here. I'm going to push down, push down, and then slide back. Okay. Pick up a little bit more green. All right. I can come in here and just do some brush strokes like this. This gives you the illusion in the background. All right, you see that? So there's some defined leaves and some that aren't very defined. And then I have a couple of little leaves in here. This is just your 12 flat. And so when I put the, the yellow and daffodil and sap, I just grabbed that teeny bit of white on the yellow side. All right, so we can come in here and get a few more stems as we go. All right, now what's happening is that this is drying up really quick because it's on the paper. So I can take a little bit of medium with a clean 12 with some aqua and work your white. All right, so I can take a little bit of aqua over here. See, just a little bit. And it might give you the illusion that there's a little bit of water down there too. All right, now I have to let it totally dry before I put the front of the base on. I also got some Q-tips and I put like, was well, there like six or eight of those together and I'm pulling them out. I just put a hair rubber on it and I can use both ends. I'm going to put that there and have that ready. And what I want to do first thing is let's do a couple of peach roses. So I'm going to pick up white and then slip, I'm going to go flip back and forth to load that wicker white on the corner and then right here. All right. So what's going to happen is I have one up here. I'm going to go up and over. And we're going to do a U. Another you. All right. Get some more paint. Let's see, I'm coming here. A little teeny bit of white, more paint. There we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, so this is pink melon. It gives you this really pretty color. So let's put a little bit more pink melon here and that 12 flat. All right, so then this is what I want you to see. I'm gonna keep stroking next to the white. A little bit more. A 
little bit more. So we're going to come all out here. There we go. I want you to see as simple strokes, one simple stroke at a time. And when you get all done, it looks like something. And so it becomes beauty here. The more we put little bits of that neon purple. Okay. So now I'm going to use um, this one as an eight. I'm going to use an eight, and then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just pick up all white on both sides of the eight flat. All right, so I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to bring the stem. Let's just see how that happens. Okay, so I'm going to come right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those are all the backward petals, back petals. And then I'm going to touch, 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 and front. So it makes it look like it's tilted up, right? And then out here, I want these little ones back here. They're going to be flatter. Now watch what happens here. I'm going to start coming up and out. So do you notice I'm pushing down slightly, push down and then stand up. All right. That's one that's not open yet. And then we'll do one over here. I'm also looking at triangles, see that? There's a triangle, there's a triangle. And that's how you make your designs when you're, how many of you go, now where do I put another one? So if I was trying to figure out where to put another one, I'd go one, two, three. Okay, so I can do another small one. And then I can do dot, dot, dot. All right, then I'm gonna take the handle of my brush and I'm going to make a circle there, dot there. This is like a little bit of an oval here. A little bit of oval there. And a bigger one there. Isn't that kind of fun? Now that this is dried up some, what I'm going to show you is that I can come in here with just the medium on this. This brush right here is the um, 3 8 angle brush. And then I can come right here and pick up white with the toe. See that toe with that brush? And I can come across here. Okay, and that's going to give you the illusion of glass. I'm going to chisel a little bit more there. All right. And we can get medium and more white. I just to give you that illusion of glass right there. And we have a little bit of a glare on it. Okay, now what I wanted to show you is that we can take this, these Q-tips, actually I can take a couple of them out because I have too many. Okay, so we do a few less here. All right, and then I'm going to tap into white, make sure they're all flat, and then get some lavender. This is purple. 
neon. I love this neon paint. See that it's a multi-surface, but it comes out um, just like that. Now I want to take, okay, and I think I need a little bit more white. I put quite a bit of lavender, that purple. And I'm going to tap this little, let's get the, let's get purple neon on here. And then look what I'm doing. I'm just pouncing the neon. And I'm going to tap to a point. A little bit of neon, a little bit of white. See, there's my triangle again. I hope that you're finding this this morning and you're enjoying it and you're thinking about coming back later in the day and sit down and create with me. Isn't that kind of fun? Really light, really creative. A little bit hanging down over here. Okay. What you do is go pick up more white and more purple. Neon purple. All right. Now, see, I've got this. I need to pick up more of this, the color because then it blended into nothing. There you go. You like it? Okay, let's look at the whole picture. Now, I had fun doing that. I can't wait to see you guys experience it. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just grab some white. My two script liner, make it inky. Be sure to watch me on Friday and see what we're going to do. I'm teaching you how to use different brushes and what you would paint with those brushes. Okay. All right, see those little splatter? Since I splattered that by accident, let me show you. Um, where's my fan brush? There it is. I can show you that we can use a toothbrush or we can use a little bit of my fan brush with lots of water. Okay, and all you do is get a bigger brush handle. Now let's go close so you can see it. I'm tapping. I did all that because I put these little dots here by accident, but that's okay. There we go. There we go. That's a nice little project to do today. I hope you enjoy it. You can do lots more shading, but this is just a quick and easy, fun little greeting card you could do. Till I see you on Friday. Bye-bye.